Hey, welcome back to Build with Jens. So, here's a crazy idea for you. What if the best upgrade for your Creality Ender 3 is actually selling it and getting something completely different? I know, I know it sounds wild, but hear me out. Let's be real, the Ender 3 is an amazing printer to learn on. It's cheap, open source, and a favorite among hobbyists. But trust me, once you've spent hours tweaking the bed level, adjusting the flow rate, and fixing yet another filament clog, printing stops being fun and starts feeling like work. Every print becomes a project of its own. That constant maintenance can really take the joy out of 3D printing after a while. That's why I want to introduce you to the Bamboo Lab A1 Mini. This printer is a total game changer. It's like upgrading from a flip phone to a modern smartphone. Everything just works out of the box. The A1 Mini does automatic bed leveling, automatic flow calibration, and prints at lightning fast speeds with top quality results, all fully automated. No endless mods, no manual tweaks. It's designed to be plug and play, so you spend minutes printing instead of hours fixing or tinkering. For me, the biggest difference has been time. I spend way less time troubleshooting and way more time enjoying my printer. It's no longer a constant experiment, it just works. It's not a project anymore, it's a tool. Like a cordless drill you pick up, and it just drills. With the A1 Mini, you load your file, hit print, and it does what you expect, reliably. Imagine running through a bunch of prints without a single hiccup. That's my reality now. Now I know some of you are hardcore modders who love tweaking every nut and bolt. If that's you, the Ender 3 or any open frame DIY printer is your happy place, and I totally get it. Tinkering can be fun. You can upgrade your Ender in countless ways, and the community around it is huge. Plus, the Ender does have one clear advantage, its build area. The Ender's print bed is about 220 by 220 by 250 millimeters, bigger than the A1 Mini's roughly 180 by 180 by 180 millimeters. So if you need to print really large objects in one go, the Ender can do it all in one piece. The A1 Mini, with its smaller build area, would require splitting the model into smaller parts. But that build plate advantage comes at a cost. The Ender 3 often feels like a base model that expects you to do all the upgrades. Out of the box, it needs routine re-leveling after prints, constant manual calibrations, and it can jam if you're not careful. Some stock parts are a bit cheap and might wear out. The A1 Mini, on the other hand, automates those chores for you. Its downside? A smaller build volume means big prints have to be split and normally it costs more. And here's the part that really made it a no-brainer for me. The Ender 3 is over seven years old at this point. It's starting to show its age. I actually sold my Ender 3 for 130 euros and picked up the Bamboo Lab A1 Mini for just 200. So for only 70 euros more, I went from a fiddly, slow printer to a fully modern, fast, automated machine. No mods, no headaches, just results. And now I'm wondering, would you make that same trade? Is it worth the 70 euro upgrade to you? Drop a comment below. I'd love to hear your take. In summary, the A1 Mini has become my go-to tool. Instead of treating every print like a test, now I just hit print and walk away because I know it'll work. It's like I won a time lottery. I'm free to do other things while it prints perfectly. This is why I'm calling it truly the best upgrade you can make for an Ender 3. It sounds crazy, but sometimes the smartest upgrade isn't adding more parts. It's switching to a whole new platform. What do you think? Would you trade your Ender 3 for a Bamboo Lab A1 Mini? Are you tempted by that 200 euro deal? Let me know in the comments. I love hearing your thoughts. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more 3D printing insights. Thanks for watching and, as always, happy printing.